Thursday night showdown in Houston between the UTEP Miners and the Rice Owls. ABC7, the official home of the UTEP Miners, and ABC7's Rachel Phillips was out at the sidelines of all for all of tonight's action. We'll check in with her in just a bit, but first, let's see how it all played out. To H-Town we go, Miners, Owls, both teams with four wins on the season. Tonight's winner will get another step closer to bowl eligibility. First quarter, Miners wasting no time on their first possession of the game. Handoff to the former Parkland Matador, Dion Hankins, from the one. Punch it, count it, UTEP up 7 to nothing. Second quarter, game tied at 10. Rice knocking on the door, and it's TJ McMahon with the quarterback keeper. Rice in front, 17 to 10, but the Miners going to answer right back. Gavin Hardison to James Tupo. And James Tupo, welcome to In Zone City. Game tied at 17. We go to the third, tied at 20. Rice once again going to find the end zone. McMahon to Jack Bradley. And he'll get the house call. It's 27 to 20. Rice in the fourth quarter. Hardison would actually have to leave the game, injuring his ankle on a play. So backup quarterback Calvin Brown Holtz would play the rest of the way and do this. Keeper showing off the speed, diving into the end zone, and it's a tie ball game once again. 30 seconds left in the game. We're tied at 30. Rice already in field goal range. They want it all. McMahon going to the air to Bradley Rosner. That would be the nail in the coffin for the Miners. And after the game, emotions running high as the team's having to be separated. Last time, these two will play as conference opponents with Rice moving on to the American Athletic Conference next season. Final score, 37 to 30. Rice getting the win. UTEP now up against a wall if they want to become bowl eligible. ABC7's Rachel Phillips filed this report from Houston. Houston, we have two problems now. The Miners now need to win both of their last two games to become bowl eligible for the first time in back-to-back -back seasons since 2004 and 2005. But at the moment, it looks like they might have to do it without their QB1 in Gavin Hardison, who went down injured and was actually stretched off the field. At the end of the game, he was standing at the edge of the field with a boot on his right ankle and in crutches. Obviously a lower leg injury, but not anything broken. You know, I can make that comment, you know, so it's just a day-to-day -day thing. Thankfully for the Miners, the backup QB in Calvin Brownholtz really stepped up. In his first drive of the game, he had 11 plays and a 75-yard drive that ended in him rushing for 25 yards in for the TD. His second drive also ended in points in a field goal, but the Miners really needed more out of that drive. They decided to go for it on third and three and toss it up to Tyreen Smith in the corner, where instead they probably could have got three yards on the ground. Quandary there on the third down because we thought they had a player down. Um, and, and had stopped the clock, and the player wasn't down, and he got up and left the field, and we got running out of time. I just got to throw a better ball, you know. Uh, it's on the quarterback, but that was a good drive. I'm proud of the guys for rallying behind me and you know, having confidence in me to go in there and, you know, uh, play ball. But I envisioned trying to run it again some there as well if the pass wasn't, you know, wide open. So, you know, I, I felt we could have finished the game right there and we didn't. That play ended up being crucial in the game because Rice got the ball back with 2.35 left on the clock, getting the win on a late touchdown and tension really boiling over it then, just showing how much frustration the Miners had when they tied things up at 30 apiece with just a couple minutes left in the game to then lose it on a touchdown. The Miners now head into a bye week before their last two games of the season against FIU and then UTSA, and both those games are must-win games if the Miners are any hope of going to back-to-back -back bowl games. Thank you very much, Rachel. One final